Yeah! Big chest workout today. This time we're with the boys. We have Vincenzo Mass, and we have Jeremy Potvin. So you're getting a little bit of a taste of everything today. Top Olympia physique competitor, literally a fucking monster mountain of a man, and my sexy ass. So we're gonna be doing a chest workout. Um, the cool thing about this, what I wanna go through, you'll see some intense drop sets, us pushing it. Vincenzo needs to get a killer workout in. Jeremy's chest is one of the wildest fucking body parts you'll ever see on a competitor. So you'll see all that shit, but I want you guys also, we're gonna do a couple uh, like educational points here so that you get the difference of how three different minds work and each one of us have success in this industry and look phenomenal in our own right. So the goal is for you guys to be educated and see some cool shit. So we're gonna let it rip. I gotta take a little bit of this in the pre-workout. I have a feeling I might get my ass handed to me today. So a little bit of background. If you don't know who Jeremy Potvin is, I'd suggest you go look him up on the internet. Jeremy, you competed at the Olympia four times. Four times, top five every time. Except for one. Except for one. Except for one. And then literally a fucking every fucking mountain of a man. I, 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 be ready. <laughs> you guys better be fucking ready. I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> All right, so first exercise of pretty much every single chest workout I do is some type of incline movement. This today, we're doing the, uh, the incline Cybex uh, chest press. I usually do the Smith machine incline. Vincenzo back there wanted to start with, uh, he wanted to start with incline barbell presses, but I said, there's no way I'm fucking barbell pressing with you on camera. This is my YouTube channel. You're not making me look like that much of a pussy. So we're on this machine that he absolutely fucking hates. Your typical chest workout. What do you start with? What's your first exercise? Is it also an incline movement? Usually I always, typically always, you know, do a couple warm up sets of a fly movement. You know, to really just warm up my pecs. I've had two injuries on, on each pec. Not complete tears, but I tore them both. I'm always starting with an incline press or some type of incline movement. I just feel like that gets the blood flowing to all the areas I need. Same thing? Uh, same thing as far as warming up. I usually do like a fly movement, uh, single arm pec deck, something to get the blood in there and the mind-muscle connection really going. And then I'll usually end up hitting uh, a flat movement if there's like a flat hammer strength. I like that, just again, to fill my First chest First exercise. Up. Yeah, usually. And yeah. then everything else in the middle is all upper chest work. So it's all incline movements, incline presses, incline flies, um, other variations of incline movements. And I'll usually finish off with another flat movement. Go gotcha. just, just for yep. the pump. And he has a wild chest. If you haven't seen it, when he takes his shirt off, it's gonna look great. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound weird or anything. <laughs> Whenever you travel, it's always tough when you're at a different gym and you're doing a different workout than you're used to. And he was just telling us how simplistic and fucking old school your workouts are right now. Yeah. You know, a lot of guys see I'm um, posting my stories and page my workouts again, especially for the challenge I'm trying to give my workouts, which some people are shocked at the, uh, the lack of volume. So, you know, one or two sets per exercise till failure sometimes. But I do the same workouts basically every week for the past, what, six weeks. I've been training with my trainer again. So chest is typical. Incline barbell, flat fly, flat barbell press, dips, and I'm out. So uh, I'm a volume guy. I'm like, uh, yeah. like I based all my shit off the cutler. But then whenever I started training with Hani, he's like, dude, you gotta switch it up and you gotta start doing some, some more uh, like heavier compound movements. Yeah and the dorian style came into effect is that kind of what you're doing now like exactly one or two this that's just my trainer trained with uh mike menzer if you guys know who that is if not go look him up 
he was basically the founder of heavy duty that Dorian adopted uh, into his training routine. So it's simple, you know, just like for back, come in, warm up, deadlifts, barbell row, right to the right after the deadlifts, uh, dumbbell row, hyperextensions, done. Maybe a set of pull downs. But meanwhile, this fu- those those sets are fucking. You are going fucking all in. Extreme. You know, you're doing four or five rows, four fifty-five rows, five de- five hundred deadlift, five fifty deadlift. You know, for three to five, maybe six reps. So, so you're warming up each exercise, and then you're yeah, fucking so for killing. Instance, the the most sets we'll do is the first exercise. So if it's incline presses or if it's deadlifts, we'll do five to six. The next exercise might be three. The final, maybe two. So the more you go into the workout, the less that you do, sure it's warm. It's just about prioritizing yep. what you right. really trying yep. to hit. right into something flat. So I like to do my flies on a slighter incline. I just feel like it hits the upper chest and it goes right into the, the, the middle part of your chest. Look at you, what are you doing? You taking over my fucking YouTube channel? Huh? I'm gonna make my own, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> you were, uh, this concept, I'm a huge, huge fan of a slight incline yeah. on, uh, on flies. Then, then again, what, man, you're using old school. Old school is to kind of gradually go down yeah. and work yourself down. Yeah, so basically right after the flies, like we all talked about, we're going to do a flat press uh-huh. of some sort. Yeah. So by the time I get there, you know, obtaining those injuries too, I make sure I'm completely good. Dude, your trainer's old school as fuck. Like yeah. this is old school mentality. Yeah. This is, whenever, uh, whenever I trained with Hani, it was similar to this, because this is, this is also this concept of, uh, like instinctive training, yeah. like because you're feeling it the whole workout. Right. Like so, as you're getting into it, you're like, because you're not dead set on just doing three sets of twelve reps of that one exercise. It's almost like, what are you feeling throughout this workout, and then work into it. And you're pushing yourself to failure every single exercise. Every single exercise. Like you're going to fucking balls out. If you get yeah. twelve, get twelve. If you get twenty-two, get twenty-two. If you get twenty-two, guess yeah. what? Drop the fucking drop the number of reps by increasing the weight. The famous quote he says to me: "I don't give a fuck about the reps." That's what he says. He doesn't care about the count. As long as it's to my max, immaculate form, slow, on the eccentric too, it doesn't matter about the reps. Old school as That's what makes you grow.
dips. It's an old school exercise. I feel like we've been in, have an old school inspired flavor today. But if you're not doing dips, whenever you're doing them, if you're watching all of us, have a slight lean forward into your body. So that way when you're leaning into it, you're pushing. You wanna get the lower outside portion of your chest. That is what the, the concentration of this exercise is. Vincenzo was saying, like whenever he's working through uh, his chest workout, it's like incline, then flat bench, and then a decline motion. This would be categorized in there. So the top portion of the chest, middle, and then the lower outside portion with the dips. That's at least a focus. Obviously with every single fucking chest exercise, you're working your whole chest, but the emphasis as it's being placed throughout the entire workout with these lower outside portion. The slight angle forward, outside of the chest. The slight angle forward. Doesn't have to be drastic, just enough where you'll feel it. Like I said, dude's got a wild looking chest. This is like freak alien type stuff. Yeah. No, I'm envious of the chest. It's a wild look. It's a wild look. The separation and everything, the detail. I'm excited. I'm excited for you this year, brother. I feel good this year. Fuck Real yeah. fucking good. Full confident. Uh, which shot first? Oh, Front oh, lat. Front lat. You go right for the fucking gun, <laughs> you dick. <laughs>